frightening and it's fun. Let's go. I'm deputy head at Eastleigh Primary School in Cromlington. We have a bike club for Key Stage 2 where the children go out and use the cycle tracks around Cromlington. Lost his pants in the middle of France and he found them in Bombay. Oh. It teaches them something about themselves. So I think it shows them their determination, what they can do if they set their mind to it, makes them perhaps more motivated and gives them a sense of achievement. It's built up their camaraderie as a group of wanting to do cycling. I think we live in a perfect town for that. There's cycle paths everywhere. There's a lot of options for them. And it's just encouraging them to get out and about with, for themselves or with their families. We're hoping that we influence the children to get out and about in the environment, to um, be on their bikes, so they would then perhaps use their bikes to go to high school, to work, which would then take away from having so many cars on the road and protect the environment. I can't tell that fast. My legs don't go that fast. My legs are tiny. I'm almost taking you at me. It's fun. It helps your energy boost. Yeah. Helps you make fish. It's going down the hill, the wind's in hell, you can probably make a movie with the wind going at your hair. I'm scared to death! I can't wait! Well, it's fun for exercise and then you can do it with all your friends. It's just getting out of the house and just having a fun time, really. So today we're going to go down to Life Beach. The challenge is to go back up the Labyrinth Road without stopping to get all the way back to school without stopping. I think I'm going to get up this hill. Here I came in the Come on, man. Let's do it. Getting children out and about in the local area, keeping them fit, keeping them healthy. The first couple of sessions, just coming back and then saying about which bits ached and which bits using muscles and things that they hadn't used before. They were really pleased with themselves, which is good for their mental health. They were children that hadn't normally been the best at PE, and yet those children could see that they could be active. So for their actual self-esteem and motivation, some of those children were beaming when they'd come back. If you're building their self-esteem out of school, that goes into the classroom. How hard is that too? What you need is some staff that are really passionate about it. I think someone that's going to drive it forward and I'm lucky with that because I've got a team of staff that feel that is important and then I think the children feed off that enthusiasm and want to do it but I would certainly say give it a go, it's worth it. The children get a lot from it. Miss, that was so good. I know. 